Hope you didn't get too wet in today's showers and thunderstorms. We saw a couple of severe storms. Those have all calmed down at this point and we're left with passing downpours that are heading out of our area at a pretty decent clip this evening. Unfortunately, we're turning really chilly behind that rain. The cold front will push through after midnight and that'll clear us out and dry us out and plunge our temperatures down into the mid to low 40s. Here's what we're waking up to tomorrow morning. We'll see temperatures stretching from 39 to 41 degrees to the north of I-10 and to the west of I-95. Along and just to the south of I-10 and to the east of I-95 will be in temperatures we'll see temperatures between the low to mid 40s between 42 and 45 degrees and then our southern and coastal counties you'll between be between 46 and 50 for a chilly start to your Thursday Thursday will be sunny chilly and windy winds will be around 15 miles per hour out of the north and temperatures will struggle to reach the mid 50s at our warmest point during the afternoon hours despite mostly sunny skies our coldest temperatures of this cold snap are headed our way Thursday night into Friday morning where we'll wake up in the mid 50s along into the west of I-95 inland areas of southeast Eastern Georgia could brush freezing and we'll see some patchy frost out there and so if you live to the west of I-95 and you have tender tropical or freshly planted plants you may need to protect them from that frost. Everyone needs to worry about heating your home safely and making sure your outdoor pets have a way to stay warm. No one needs to worry about pipes or pool pumps. Moving into Friday we only make it up to 57 and then a chilly start to the weekend in the upper 30s and low 40s. We'll make it finally into the 60s at least on Saturday topping out around 63 under partly cloudy skies and the 70s are back on Sunday but briefly another round of of rain on Monday ahead of a cold front plunges us into the chilly zone on Tuesday and Wednesday. For more information, you can read our detailed analysis on newsforjax.com. Have a great night.